fishing adventure and today we're going to discuss fishing rod and we're going to try to review um, this fishing rod the quantum uh, the quantum Q ray spinning reel size 20 and the um, 7 foot um, extra pass um, pen squadron um, why did I got to this is my dad broke, I think, I uh, used this three or four seasons now. Um, it's a card stick wild. Um, he broke it the last trip that we had, which is like two weeks ago. Uh, by uh, a mistake. But um, I'm trying to look for a cheaper version. And when you're a beginner, you tend to buy a lot of fishing rods. This is his um, minnow um, fishing rod, and this is my old bass fishing rod, which I gave to him. Um, which we're gonna do the measurements on the weight, just to compare all of this on the weight, um, on the actual weight of the fishing rod and the actual balance with the uh, spinning reel. Um, when you started, you probably started with the push bottom one, which is my daughter, five-year-old. He's been, she's been catching bass on that thing with this um, fishing rod. She's been catching one pound, two pound bass on this. It's um, Serco 33 combo, and you know what? For a five-year-old, that's that's overkill already. Um, and then, you know, of course, when you get used to it, you go, you jump into spinning because it's easier to cast. And then when you go extra mile, you go with the um, casting rods. I mean, I have five casting rods. Three of them is up there. When we buy fishing rods, we tend to like, you know, say, this is what I want. This is what I saw in the video. This is like, you know, we don't like you know you thinking like you know what the better the fishing rod the bigger the fish that we caught no there's a lot of things that you read before you catch a fish you read the water the environment the shade is it sunny what kind of lure what kind of bait I mean you'll see a hand line they're catching fish like you know and why? And sometimes you don't even need the fishing rod to catch a fish. So that being said, it's like, you know what? It, it is a part of it, whatever floats your boat, like, you know, like, you know, this is what I want. Like, this fishing rod, I use this a lot. And that's what floats my boat. It put my confidence level on this fishing rod. And I'll tell you why later, why. I love this fishing rod and like you know sometimes we don't put the price in perspective sometimes we do and sometimes when we do it like we made the wrong we make some wrong choices and you end up with a lot of fishing rod that you don't even use as much like you know I know people like you know they got like 30 fishing rods, but they only use two of their fishing rods. All of my fishing rods, I use them not as much as this or this or my swim bait rod. Those are the three main things. But the past two months, I've been using my minnow rod, which is like, you know, it's just like, it's just like a minnow rod. For me, it's just like a minnow rod, just like when I went to Walmart and I bought these two Abu Garcia Vigilante for like $20. This is a good fishing rod, but it's on clearance for $20. You can't beat it. Like, you know, you can use it for bass fishing. This 6.6 six, um, and this one, the Berkeley Lightning. Lightning. Yeah, I bought it for like $20 too. And it's on clearance. See, that's what the things that you, you, you need to find and wait 
if you have a fishing rod already, just wait till like, you know, the next sale to go buy another one if you just want another one like to put another lure on it or like you know if you want to go cat fishing like cat fishing um i got i mean i'm guilty i got like more than i'll say more than 40 fishing rod my catfish gear is one full toolbox right there and then i got um like probably like 20 fishing rod on that on the upper level right there between seven foot to like 12 foot fishing rods for uh, my blue catfish but with that being said we bought this rod because of this he broke this uh, and let's go to a review on this one okay quantum cure um it's pretty beat up it's like you know it's been only two and a half weeks that's how my dad uses it it's like he uses it with no drag but when i use it the first week i use this with a drag and i'm telling you i caught a catfish on this a 24 inch catfish and it's so smooth i use it with a drag with a lightweight rod and i think it's like a five foot rod I can't remember what brand is it is up there. It's I'm really really impressed with the drag system of this. It's smooth. I mean you know, it's smooth enough. You got six ball bearing, quantum Q rate 20. I mean the best best buck for the bag. I mean I think uh, it's a good um, fishing reel. Um thank to um uh, why did I buy this? Uh, when he broke the fishing rod, we broke a fishing reel a week before that, which is the loose spinning reel. Um, I slept on the uh, shore, landed on a fishing rod. Uh, it broke on on the um, shaft over here. Okay, with the um, pen squadron, this is. SQDIN 1017S70 7 foot extra pass action 10 to 17 pound mono 10 to 30 pound braid quarter to um, to one ounce lure this is basically same specs on the frog rod basically that I use um, as you can see, it's it's really really good. He he caught a two pound bass on this, a three pound bass from the frog, and then he caught a bunch of bass from the uh, minnow. It's set up as a minnow fishing right now, and he caught an eleven inch bass, and I wouldn't forget about this. This happens like uh, four days ago. It's right in front of him. The bass followed the minnow. He was retrieving it. The bass grabbed the minnow and he just yanked this as hard as he can. The bass, it's 11 inch bass, flew up in the air, eight foot above his head and landed on his back. That's why I'm making a review on this. For $36, it's well worth it. The way my dad used a fishing rod, it's got to be, I mean, you know, really durable because he just doesn't care if it's going to break or not. You can see we got a lot of fishing rods, so, you know. Uh, that being said, it's like, you know what, this one, I bought this for like $28, I believe, at Walmart. And this combination right here could be somebody else's beginner combo and it was a real good rod i would use this i mean you know if i was beginning and you give me this fishing rod i would be more than happy to get this for less than 60 dollars actually for a little bit more than 60 dollars but this is a great great buy 
That being said, um, I'm gonna show you the weight. Let's go try the weight on this one. Let me just go get my weighing scale and let's go measure the weight on this. Okay, I got my weighing scale here. Let's turn it on. Um, I got it in ounces. And let's go tear it up. As you can see, we're tearing it up. Uh, we're going to put this. Okay, it's free floating now. 6.5 ounces. Okay. It's not on the, it's kind of on a heavy side, but you know, it's, it's, you know, it's usable as a, um, okay, let's tear it up. With the line, the Curate 20, you got a 40 pound test line, 9 ounces. So, that is not on the heavy side, but that's not on the light side either. So, with the combination, let's go check out the balance on this rod. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. It looks like it's butt heavy. Right. Okay. I mean, you know, that's that's your balance point right there. So when you hold the rod, and you feel some weight on it. I mean, I'm used to a lighter setup, but you know, I can't complain about it. So, so let's go test out. He's old. Minnow rod. I mean, just like what I say, I like to use the RTX because they're light. And the old carrot stick, which is the wild carrot, they are they were light before. But um, when I bought the casting model um, this year, they're a lot heavier than, than what they used to be. So let's go test out the carrot sticks just to compare it. Okay, let's go tear it. Oh, no. Okay, that's zero. Okay. Four ounces. Okay, that's four ounces. Let's check out the spinning reel with a 40 pound power pro okay let's tear it and let's go measure it up wait up let me see that again it's measuring 6.5 ounces okay let's see it again okay 6.5 ounces so as you can see the bottom of this is lighter than that this used to be my bass rod and then I switched to this one, the black one, okay, we're gonna have to take that out later. Okay, now let's go measure his bass fishing rod. Which has the uh, Okuma, Okuma RTX size, what size is this? Size 35 and this one is a size 30. Yeah, the size 30 on the Okuma is actually the same size as the size 20 on the Q-Ray. Let's go measure the fishing rod. Let's go tear this thing up. Okay. 
Stare down up at zero. Let's measure up the fishing rod, which is. Uh, I gotta take this thing off. Hold on, one second. Let me loosen that up a little bit so that it's not there. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's tear it up. Let's hook it up. And that's three ounces. Three ounces. This is the uh, old, I think it's the first batch of the carrot stick wild black. This is seven ounces. Uh, what is this? I believe it's medium heavy seven foot. Yes. Now there's a medium, medium fast, moderate fast. Okay, and let's go measure the size 30 filled with 50 pound braid. Okay, let's tear this thing up and let's go. 9.5 ounces. Okay, came out 9.5 ounces with 30, size 30 Okuma. Okay, I might end up switching this too because he probably can use this for frogging and this is um, a size 35 which is, as you can see, it's bigger than the size 20 on that one. Alright, I'm going to put that away later. Um, okay. I don't have a... I mean, I do have a carrot stick, medium heavy, that I use for casting and I use for frogging on the shore. But when I'm on a kayak, uh, I use this Okuma. Okuma TCS Mat Daddy. I use this for punching, pitching, and frogging all at the same time. I got the Revo SDX on it and I put the um, Aura um, handle on it so it's like um, a bigger knob, a bigger, um, longer um, turn handle. And let's go measure what's the weight on this puppy. Okay, that is filled with fit. Oh, uh, no, this is 65 pound braid. I'm not gonna go through, uh, you know what? Uh, let's go do it um, with the complete um, weight. Did I measure this with the complete weight? Let's go try this out with the complete weight. Let's go tear this up. Okay. That is 13 ounces. It's not bad. And this is... This is... Tear it up. ounces. Let's go do it again. I don't quite believe that. 13 ounces. Okay. So this bass fishing rod is the same as my bass fishing rod on the weight. Did I measure how much this thing weighs all in all? Let's go back to the um, the uh, squadron and the curate. 
tear it up. Let's go measure it. Sixteen ounces. So it's kind of like you know, it's three ounces heavier. But for some people, that one doesn't matter. For me, I'm so used to this fishing rod. Last year, when I got this, basically eighty percent of the time when I'm fishing. This is the only thing I used. I use it for frogging, for swim bait, anything on the shore. It is a Cajun custom rod, Savannah series. And I put the MGX Stream on it. Abu Garcia MGX Stream. And this is the lightest fishing rod I've ever owned up to date let's go measure how much does it weigh all in all and I'm gonna measure the um... all right it's measuring nine ounces because I just switched the line to 40 pounds I got a lot more line in there now when I when I measure it with a 50 pound line it's like 8.4 ounces so I got 9 ounces fishing rod rail and a line on it already it's 9 ounces this rod is just amazing it's like only fishing rod I use most of the time last year but this year I got the um, I ordered before the season ends last year I ordered the um, swim bait rod and this uh, this rod the um, the punching rod and a prod rod comb combination so for um, just demonstration purposes let's go measure the weight on this fishing rod. The Abu Garcia Vigilante is six ounces. So that's without the reel and the line. All of this measurement got the reel and the line on it. They all got different lines and it's gonna come out like different measurement but if you say your fishing rod is only like you know what 10 ounces try to put a line on it try to put it together it's gonna come out different every time you change the line so like this rod right here is only around eight ounces without the line a little bit like you know it plays a little bit under eight ounces eight ounce average I would say without the fishing line on it so that being said thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time if you want a cheap combination a little bit on a heavy side fan squadron with a Q-Ray Quantum size 20. It's a good prog rod for a spinning reel. They they do make a 7.6. It's a little bit um, It's gonna be more heavy on On the weight wise, but they come with a 7.6 I mean, I think uh, medium heavy and a heavy version. So what's coming up next for um, The review um, I haven't reviewed anything yet, um, so let's go check my bag, that one, this one, this one, I got a lot of success on that last year, alright, I'm gonna put
put this in the aquarium. I got 200 gallon aquarium that I had a basket for. But um, my daughter wants um, some Oscar fish on the aquarium. So I guess we can go test that thing. Um, what can we um, review here? Uh, let's go check it out. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, but uh, we got this snake I got from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, we're going to test this out in the water. Uh, I swim real nice, but you know, we're going to go test it out. Um, I got the BBC one, which is an older one, so it's, I might not make a review on that one, but caught a lot of fish on that, like the BBC one. The, the live target, this one I want to review, the live target, um, uh, the sunfish, okay, that's the one I might want to review that, this one, man's hard nose snake, oh, Pickerel love this, the uh, bass loves this, uh, pike, I mean, I've been catching like 10 fish in one snake and it's just gonna end up like this long after after I'm done with it because just like pickerel they're like catching it. This one the Havoc sick fish I use this a lot too um, I might review this I use this only exclusively on um, spring season like before and after the ice melt in uh, New Jersey and this one I just got here I just got this two days ago the flip and the bird uh, we're gonna go try that out in the uh, field and we're gonna go check it out so thanks for watching stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time and we're not going to forget about this. I'm going to let you know about this one next time. Thank you.